When Aja from the Gambia patrols protection of civilians or POC sites, on a daily basis, children and adults alike mob her singing songs in her praise. Nyagua, Nyagua, Yori, Yori, South, South Sudani, Yori, Yori, Nyagua, Nyagua, Yori, Yori, Vimangolia, Yori, Yori. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl, Yori, Yori. They sing as they trail her everywhere she goes, sometimes holding her hand. I started working with these people in the POC, building trust, buying biscuits for these children, telling them the truth that is in me, not giving them lies, not giving them hope on anything. So they, uh, now they said, we'll give you a name, a Sudanese name. And I asked them, what is that Sudanese name? They said, Nyagwa. And I asked them, what is the meaning of Nyagwa? They said, Nyagwa is a good girl, a clean-hearted girl, and a beautiful girl. So that's why they call you Nyagwa. Says Ajahn Dye during one of her visits to protection of civilian site that is home to close to over 39,000 displaced and is located in South Sudan's capital, Juba. On a typical day, Aja visits the POC site manager's office and is briefed on going over a 24-hour period. She recently followed up on a domestic violence issue between a couple who fought each other bitterly in the POC site. A house visit at a couple's home to help resolve differences revealed that the couple were not at home. They had left to seek help from a close family. Return visits always yield fruitful conversations and amicable solutions. The visits are always in the company of camp managers. Culprits are sometimes asked to report as community centers where several desks are available to sit at to discuss and resolve matters. During Mazumba, Malambo from Zambia is another female police officer. She joined the mission in South Sudan in April 2016. Three months after her arrival, conflict erupted in South Sudan's capital, Juba. Her main responsibilities at the moment include training a section of country's police on issues pertaining to gender-related violence. A year ago, when conflict erupted in early July, Doreen was immediately deployed to a protection of civilian site to monitor on reports of, of gender-based violence on arriving displaced. I saw it to be fit for me to help in any way I could as a mother because uh, Back home, I would love to see my children being safe or being at peace all the time. Both Aja and Doreen are part of the Onpol Women's Network, which held two-day seminars in Juba under the theme Strengthen, Unite and Raise the Capacity of Women in Onmis. With about 70 participants drawn from across South Sudan, the female police peacekeepers heard that they should take up leadership positions so as to serve as role models to communities living in POCs. Speaking to participants, the head of the UN mission in South Sudan said that female police can relate to women and children with ease. Well, I think what they do is they have a, a, a much better ability to relate to, to women. They can walk into houses, chat to children, chat to women, and not be seen as a, as a threat. Uh, women will open up to them and tell them about the problems, particularly the sexual, uh, the br sexual brutality here, talk about that sort of thing with them. It's hugely important um, in the society. Uh, plus, they're role models for, uh, for many of the women out there in those POCs that uh, perhaps are thinking about what they can do and they see our women walking around and say, this is a future that I might like. David Shearer also say that addition female UN police officers would be deployed to ONMIS to strengthen relations with displaced communities across the country. Speaking on the first day of the event, the Under Secretary in the Ministry of Gender, Child and Social Welfare, Esther Ikere, shown a line on how the conflict has affected women in South Sudan. I give them a general overview of what is happening with regard to sexual and gender-based violence because we know very well that sexual and gender-based violence is at crisis level in South Sudan because of the shortcomings in the judicial system. But at the same time, conflict-related sexual violence is also predominant in conflict-affected states. And UNPOL police are there every time and then in those conflict-affected states. If they're not aware about the situation, they don't know the magnitude of the problem, then they will not be in position to address it. 
as both Doreen and Aja continue to take on the challenge of assisting South Sudan's struggling populations. Their work with displaced communities could continue to earn them more praise and songs as Aja has heard when the displaced sing Nyagua Nyagua every time they see her. <laughs> 